Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see something really interesting. Someone asked me, bro, can we do SQL queries in Python? Actually, there is a way to do that and I'm going to show you by writing a few SQL queries in Python. Let's get started right away with the video. First of all, we'll import some modules, packages as usual. So pandas and OS, right, our usual suspects. And there is this module called panda SQL and you can import something called as SQL DF from that. If you have not installed this module before, I'll put the link to the link where you can go and download the module. Okay, uh, you can do the normal installation and then you know you can import the module. Cool. So this is the first step. We need to get some stuff imported. Okay. Now let's bring some data from like maybe our computer. Okay. In my case, I'm going to bring something called as sample python it's a csv file okay so i'm going to say sample python.csv and let's see what data contains as you see it has stuff about date category and some marketing information clicks impressions all that you see the last two rows you know have some problems like there's some random text and all so let's first try and remove that so for that we'll use skip footer so you can say skip footer equal to two and then you can say engine equal to python this should work right so when you run this again now you see those two rows are gone okay so we have a no normal data marketing data here now let us go and try to solve some questions by writing sql queries inside python okay so the first question is basically to write a var clause and filter for rows with cost more than thousand okay do we have a cost column here we do and uh, all right so let's try and write it okay let's go step by step so let us say this is task one so i'll give it a name task one and it's a simple thing right you put it within double quotes and you can write your sql query as such so in this case i can say select star from data the right? data is the name of the database because that is the data frame we have here we have created and we can say where thing cost is with the capital c greater than 1000 okay step number one and then step number two it's also pretty simple you need to just say sql df right this is the one we have imported at the top if you see right we have imported sql df so we can say sql df and inside we can say task one okay and then to have the variable or the values store to a global scope we can say globals all right and that's pretty much it right pretty simple you write your query in double quotes and then feed it into sql df let's see what happens now if you see we get only those rows where cost is greater than thousand right wherever you know as you see we get only 21 rows all the other rows are gone because in the other rows there was like cost which was less than 1000 super okay very simple right you just write an sql query within double quotes then use this sql df function inside that feed this argument which is task one in our case okay let's move to the next question uh, find find total impressions per category right they are trying to ask us to use the group by clause okay let's see impressions column okay impressions column is there category column is also there so let's go and write our second query we can say task 2 equal to so it's pretty simple right so we will say select category right normal group by what do you do in sql and then you can say sum of impressions okay from data and then simply say group by impressions oh sorry group by category right made a silly error here but yeah group by category and then as usual you can say select sql df of task 2 comma globals right and yeah you can run this and now as you see we get for each category the total sum of impressions pretty simple right nothing complicated you can import this module and directly write sql queries right let's do a few more questions so they are saying write a case statement so suppose category is pant or socks then you call it bottom else you call it top okay so let's write the sql statement for this so we can say task 3 
so let's say select let's select everything okay plus we can create this case statement so we can say case when category in i think it's pants and socks okay case when category in pants and socks then we call it uh, bottom okay let me put it in single quotes okay else it is top right let's say end as and give it a name new cat okay from data and close okay that's it and then let's say sql df of task 3 comma globals and now we get you see pants is obviously bottom you get earring is top and uh, yeah so wherever you know the category would be socks obviously it will be updated to bottom as well right this is a way to create a case statement in sql and we are just doing it in python here okay pretty cool very straightforward as you see import another database which is called as revenue let's see what it entails okay so i think name of the file is revenue.csv let's see what revenue is having so we have simple data we have the year the name of the company and the revenue the company made in that year assume it's in like millions of dollars or something okay they are asking us to find previous year revenue value for the same company so if you remember for previous value what do we use we can use lag function right so let me give it a name task 4 and i can simply say select star okay and then you can say lag of revenue right previous value over and we want it for each company so we can do partition by company and also order by year right this should work uh, from uh, data as usual and then uh, sql df of task 4 comma globals right you just do this it should work okay it's showing an error let's see what it is okay no column here okay i should have done from revenue right i put data by mistake okay and now you see you get it right so for the first row there's no previous value so it shows na for example for 2008 for a the value is 120 previous value as you see is 100 and that is what we are getting here right so simple way to get previous value which is the lag function so we can also use lag function uh, that is why i wanted to show you how to use these advanced functions also in python by writing simple sql queries okay